Hi Ladybugs, Yolanda here and I am decorating this box for a client. Um, something like this. Of course I don't have the exact same flowers or this so, <clears throat> excuse me, I am making them. I have cut some leaves out. Uh, not, it's no good showing you that size, is it? Using my Sizzix beaks. Um, what does that say? die <laughs> okay in different languages and anyway these are the leaves which are i'm hoping to group together to make i think i might even i'm just looking at the distressing on the edge there even though this one doesn't have distressing i mean these were ready made and bought you know so <clears throat> i still have to do the tutorial on this box and i i'm gonna do it because uh, i've done the flip through already but it's going to be slightly, and it's not going to have the frou-frou and, and the, the, the lace and stuff. Uh, what is it? The frills on it, you know? It's going to be a plain one because not everybody likes the frills. But the format, everything will be the, exactly the same. So I have already started <coughs> with the leaves. This is a really handy die cut. Is there a number on it? Ellen Eileen Hull. I don't know if that's the number, leaf, spring, whatever. So it's this, this one. And you know what? These can be used as stencils afterwards. How cool is that? I think I'm going to keep them and maybe just add them to my packs and then the ladies can, like I said, use it as a stencil. Very good. So I've already started on some of these, you know, graunching them up a bit because they don't look nice. So on its own and all I'm doing is using my tweezers <coughs> oh, I don't know what my dogs are barking at but anyway that's Mushu and Gigi Mushu is very old had to take him to the vet because his back legs collapsed and I thought this is the end and I mean I love that dog <sighs> you know we love our animals too much guys and then when it's time for them to go it's just the heartache I think you all know what I'm talking about. So I've messed that one up a bit. Look at this nice gorgeous big leaf. I love it. So I think I'm not going to do every single one. <clears throat> I'm actually going to try doing it sort of different. Yeah, I like that. So you kind of maybe one up and one down. Yeah, I like it. One up, one down. Of course, you can just draw your leaves if you're good at drawing. If you don't have a die cut and um, you can just draw it by hand it's not that difficult even I can draw a leaf let me show you this is my husband trying to teach me all the inths one inch uh, that's an inch two sixteenths equals one eight that is gibberish to me <laughs> so I keep this paper by my side but no I don't know I just call them inths so a leaf you know you keep down Oops, that's not a very good one. It's been a while. There we go. Something like that. Okay, that's a very wonky one. And then you can do your... And then you can make fat ones. I can't remember how I used to do them. There. And there. Not difficult. And I'm sure a lot of you are better artists than me. Oh, I like that even better. Check, if you wiggle it around... That makes it more leaf-like. Ah! New method, ladies! Where's the town crier when you need him? Just wiggle it. I think that turns out quite nice. So grab it. And wiggle it. What's that song? It's a song called Wiggle It. And now I'm not going to sing because I am one of those people that are turned deaf. Can you believe it? Just give it more of a twist, I think. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's do this one. I think I'm gonna kind of speed up the camera because you're gonna get very bored watching me wiggle my leaves yeah 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 good 
Good, good. <clears throat> Okay, so, oh wait, let's do this one too. So easy. So first I go down the middle and give it a good, like so, angle your tweezers in. And just wiggle it. Okay, so first I'm gonna, let, oh, I wanna show you one more thing. What I've done, and that's to make these curler cues so easy. And let's just put that aside. So you have your sheet of paper, and then what you do, you just cut. I'll show you in a mo. Like so, as a narrow strip of paper. This, I guess, is, a, is an eight. An eight. <laughs> Okay, am I sounding mathematical? I'm just going to cut it in half because I don't need them so long. But you can keep them long and make a big one. And then what I do, I just use my bone folder, see? And you do like so until you're happy. Now why aren't you curling more? I want you to curl more. So I did that one that way. Now this one I'm going to turn it over, oops, like so. And do it the other way around. That's better. Until you get your little curler cue. Very easy. So hold it more or less in the middle. You don't have to be exact. Let's make that more of a curl there. Come on up. There we go. Nice. And then you just go in the opposite direction. See? And then you can use that to put on your box. So I am just going to quickly place a few, oh, I have one thing missing from here, which is right over there, I'll get that in a moment, yeah, so if I put that, I'm just going to keep this here more or less as a guide, I've also got this, which I may or may not add, I don't know, so 
Now these are pretty big. And then I always lay it out. Let's put this one here so I can get an idea. And then I have these little stamens, which of course are too long. So I am going to I'll cut a little bit off here and here. My glue gun is getting hot. I think this is going to work. And uh, where's one of these little ones? Well, maybe, I don't know, it just looks big there. And then I can insert those. I think that looks better, actually. I'm not going to distress it. Because none of these are done. And, you know, I don't want to... <laughs> my client to turn around and say, yeah, I didn't want it, or, you know, it's not exactly like the original, so I'm going to just stick, yeah, I think this looks better. But you see how all the folding and twisting gives it a little bit more character. And then, my little curly cues, I want, yeah, I think this is working out. So all I need to do here is get my little, and it is right here. Two six. <clears throat> there should be one in here somewhere. I, sh I salvaged it from the floor. <laughs> uh, and all it is, and if there isn't, where did I put it? Hard as dit. I wouldn't extra. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Let me have a look over here. I forgot about that piece. Um, wait until you see what I'm going to do with all these. I will get to that. I will get to it. Uh. Okay, I'm going to use these pieces because of course I can't find it. You never find anything when you want it and that is plain so this is more or less the same that's actually tool but this will do as well and I'm just gonna cut it into a circle and I'm loving these frayed edges here actually In fact, let's cut a square. Let's let's be a little bit clever, yeah. Yeah. And then see these pieces. I don't throw them away. They go into what I call my smoosh bags, where I smoosh all these bits and pieces because you can use that in a journal. And it doesn't have to be a perfect round. Nothing has to be perfect when it comes to making journals. So since my edge is zigzag, if you want to call it that, like so. A little bit more. You see now, I did put the leaves down for you. Now I can't mess this up. <laughs> you know when I do an order, I tend to go much slower, of course, because I'm trying to get it as perfect as I can. So let's just lift that. Okay. And I definitely put the leaves first. So I'm just going to do it because if I don't do it and then work my way around it. So to be more precise so I don't get glue. And this one you can see I'm, I'm using both sides of the cardstock. Just to give it a little bit more depth or interest, as we like to say, as crafters. So let's just do that. Yeah. Let's put, I think I might even have to go and cut some more. We shall see. This time I want to use. Yeah, the other side, you know, of the cardstock. Yeah. I'm just going to put the glue. I don't want to get glue on my acetate. 
these days it is very hard to come by. Yibor, I'm liking it. Let's put this one here. Just along the stem, I'm not putting it on the leaves. Let's angle that one a little bit out. This one. And I'm going to angle it a little, little bit in. Am I getting glue? You know, it's so hard not to get. I've got to get that. Mm. I'm messing up my client's box. This, this is what makes me shiver in my seat. I really don't want to have to do another one. Can I get this glue off? Yeah, it does come off. Ooh. Because the film is already off on this side. It's still on on this side. I think I might even leave that for my client to just peel it off. You know, because it scratches so easily. The slightest thing and it gets scratched. So yeah, let's do this guy. And all I'm going to do, you see what I did here? Yeah, I just smushed it. Uh, no, I can't move it to me because then you're not going to see. So I'm going to move it this side. That way my, I think this might be, there, 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 there. Can you see that? So you kind of fold it like that. In the middle, grasp it. That's it. That's what I want. Yeah, yes, I'm liking that. So I'm going to put a blob because we want it to stick down nicely. And kind of, ang yeah, that's perfect. In fact, do I leave that one there? No, I think I'm going to... Just got to fiddle, you know, until you get it how you like it. Is this one... Yeah, I think I do want that there, just to bring it in. Is a little bit a uh, uh, stick? Just hold it down. <clears throat> so it creates that, and I think it is actually a bit big. Yes, it is. So I am going to trim it just a little bit. I think that's a bit better. See, that could go into my smoosh bag. You could use this. <laughs> am, I, am I the only crazy here? I wonder. Yes. See that piece there? I'm just going to bring it in and attach it to this leaf here. So fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Yeah, that's looking a bit better there. Oh, I can't believe I got this. Do I have to do another box now, you know? What can I do? There's nothing I can do. But I certainly... Yeah, it'll come off. Oh, goodness. Can't give it to my client with all these strings. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to fiddle with that now. See, I am liking that. And I think, oh, we need a, I can't remember how I did that one. Yeah, look at that, it looks so beautiful. And I still have to put the stickles on it. And I think, so it's not going to be exactly the same. I think I'm going to, yeah, uh, I'm going to put this down right here. I shall use my Oh that <laughs> I like it. And then I think these I didn't put a leaf there, but I think a leaf here would be nice. And then I have these two gorgeous little ones which will go there and the, uh, where's my little pink one? Aren't they gorgeous, these things? How about that? It's looking up, people. We're looking up. So let's get another curlicue. And 
let's just pinch it a little bit to get it how I want it yeah and I am going to put it right there let's try not to work across my box just a tiny dot of glue let's stick it down Uh-huh, uh-huh, and if I stick that one over here, and then this one can sort of go, I'm liking that, I am liking that, so a blob of glue right here. I do find it easier to use my tweezers. <coughs> Okay. Yes. I think so. And then I think I can even. I don't know whether or not to do the. This leaf in here. I think I should do it in here. I think it looks. I think it looks better than that. Okay. See, I always test it, obviously. Before I um. Of course, that'll go in more. I do like that leaf there. I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to put it in. Hey, you're not supposed to stick it. There we go. Let's just take that out. I need to get these ones out. There we go. Look. Yeah, working with acetate. Hmm. It looks fabulous, whatever you do with it. And I had to take the film off the top, you know, in order to stick it down because, yeah, it couldn't stay. So I'm just going to put... I'm going to put it right in here, underneath that. And I want you on top, yes. Yes. Oh, I think it looks nice. Huh? I don't know if I made... You see, the curlicues, you can always as well adjust them. You know, they don't <laughs> stay. So, if I put that there... Oh, it's looking nice. I like it. Um, I had to do the tutorial on this box. To show you what you know how to put the flowers and whatever it, in case you want to do one exactly the same as mine and so you my friend are going over there I just want to take a but I discovered that if you spit and polish this, it'll be fine. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I used my spit just to get out a mark there and it went beautifully. So at the very end, I am going to use water. But then I thought, you know what, I must try and be a bit of a genius. And when you're working, and especially when you've taken the film off your acetate, how about doing this? I mean, hello. <laughs> I should have thought of that a while back. Then you don't get all, anything on the acetate. <clears throat> so, I have these. Aren't they gorgeous? There we go. And then I'm just going to fold it. And I'm going to stick it right about... matter with you oh I need another stick I need a stick sticky wick hey, get up there I want you to go underneath there just a little bit oh there's my stick let's squeeze that 
again I'm, I do like to use my tweezers a bit yes good 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 look at that very pretty see spider webs and then another spider web there let me just quickly take it out yeah it's fine I don't know if I'm going to stick this in here oh yes oh, it, oh yes I like it in there I think I'm going to put a tad there this time I'm going to put the glue on here stay take my tweezers and just in there this is going to be hard to package I think I have to find a special box oh that looks nice I don't know about you guys but I very rarely in fact I never make two things exactly the same I just I just can't and then this baby oh very nice this one okay I'm not gonna fix that yet because I just want to show you how I did it it's just I think it's a little bit too curly there I don't know Put like that and then this baby will go I don't even think yeah I think I'm gonna put it sort of under that leaf there which is going to be super lacquer spider webs get rid of them yeah obviously there's the center there is missing I'm gonna put a pearl there and I think I can just I'm just trying to have a look of that flower. Yeah, I, I mean that leaf. I like it on top there. You know, you don't want things too, how do you say, formal. <laughs> just a little one. Let's get rid of the spider webs. You see, I'm always learning as I go along. So, if you've had to take the film off, obviously, like I had to do here, do you put something down on top? Oh, let's tilt. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I had to just tilt that inwards. <clears throat> I love that little stem sticking out there. How about... I think I'm going to put one there. Yeah, let's just... Another little one there. Tad of glue. And stick it in there. Look at that. <laughs> looking nice guys nice then I have also these little stamens which I thought I would add you can cut them as well I don't normally cut them I just fold them in half it depends on what I'm doing you know yeah because I just think it looks nice and I'm gonna put it on here and then I am oh, get rid of that and then I'm going to stick it in here see and then spread them out and I think this just to cover all those wiry wiry bits put it that way just to yeah I think that'll be I learned something today. Take away all the spider webs. Yeah, that looks nice. And then I'm going to squeeze. Now they're all over my hands. <laughs> I think I must get that portable one. But I'm going to wait for this one to go kaput first. Let's do another one. I think that'll be alright. Yes. Ah, that's just okay. Ah, but you see, when you do it there, mm, okay. Oh, I like that. Get rid of this. 
<laughs> do you uh, does, when you use your glue guns? Do you, does this happen to you, or am I the only one? <laughs> Look at this. That this happens to. You. I think that's looking quite cool. Now I just need the bead for that. <clears throat> that is. I don't think I need to add anything else except for my stickles, and I'm using the diamond one for this because I think it just makes just gives it that oomph. So. I don't have a lot left. I thought I ordered some, but that's enough. And all I'm doing, I just put it on the edge. Let's hold that there. Just on the edge. Such a cute box, really. I, I love this, and I have to make another one now for myself. In fact, the other one I do for the actual tutorial on this whole thing uh, will be. I think I'm just going to put a little bit in the center one. Will be for me because you know the very first one I made, I didn't use a a, a nice um, cardstock. And it's kind of fell apart. And this box, you don't want to pick it up like I've been doing. Okay, it's had a lot of usage. You want to pick it up like this. Okay. I suppose maybe I could use like cardboard to make this. But anyway, it is what it is. So, I th and then I did add some stickles on the curly cues just to brighten it up. Just in this one is bugging me. <sighs> it's too late to remove it. I think I was a bit hard on it. Very gently, yeah, I think that'll be fine. So I'm gonna put some here. You know that just catches the eye, it catches the light with a little bit of the stickles over it. In what odd places you can there's no set format where I put it. I just put it where I think it's going to catch the light a bit, and I'm enjoying this. You know, I was going to do the tutorial with my client's box, but <clears throat> in the tutorials I tend to go a bit fast, you know, to try and get things done quickly, and I don't always get them perfect. Uh, you see, whereas when I obviously do something for a client, then I have to be, I am very careful with it. Because I want it to be as perfect as I can make it. I'm just going to put a little bit on that leaf there. And all I have to do is put a little pearl there. Look at that. So it's not difficult. I'm just deciding which one. I think I'm going to use that one. So pretty. Where's my... Uh, I'm looking for this and it's right here. Yeah. Yes, I think that's perfect. Oh, and then it's a matter of letting it dry. And it doesn't take long for the stickles to dry. Yes. There we go. And that's just about done. Now I'm going to remove this, which I should have put on in the beginning. I am a bit worried about, but to remove it now, it's impossible. Like I say, I'll remove the back film just before I send it to the client. So there we go. So that is, uh, here we go. It fits there. Now this is supposed to fit loose because I had done it to fit quite tight the lid on my original one but you know what as I said to you before this is what happens because now it's really it's snug and you you're just damaging and you don't want that to happen because yeah it looks ugly you see so um, <clears throat> you see how snug it was and it was a pain in the ass maybe I shouldn't say that on camera <laughs> 
to get in. So I made deliberately made this loose. So this is how you pick up the box. <laughs> okay, so it's very easy to take off and take on, and there is no damage done to the corners. So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to do the decorating of the box, of the mini box. And I will see you again soon with the actual tutorial for this whole baby. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs>